Historically, enterprise has been using high performance computing in their applications already. Uh, for instance, like in Wall Street, high performance trading has been one of the very uh, common usage model. In pharmaceutical, genetic uh, decoding is, has been used with, uh, with high performance computing. But I think the twist right here uh, is actually every enterprise is trying to adapt machine learning into the so-called high performance computing. Instead of a rule-based uh, high performance computing, right now everyone is trying to use machine learning, artificial intelligence, to try to find out if there's any other ways or any other method to actually ask the question a little bit more precise and allow a different outcome uh, based on what we don't know. So I think that's the change uh, has been adapting and changing in the enterprise in terms of the high purpose computing. Open Compute Project has been headed in a very healthy direction, I would say. Compared to 10 years ago, when you first started, it was really focused on how to innovate the hardware only. However, with the growing demand and customer um, joining the open compute from enterprise and the next wave cloud service provider, everyone started tripping in into a different um, requirement, features, and thoughts, and challenges that they have. For instance, right now, I think one of the major, uh, step, uh, major achievement for open compute project is, is making sure all the firmware is open source as well. You would imagine all this will be driving from an open software a community, however, uh, open Compute Project actually uh, carry this on. Right now, we're seeing a lot of people, even at enterprise level, they want to have open source firmware simply because they can identify the attacker uh, when they were, their infrastructure was under attack. So I think it's really important to have all these data center requirements uh, in the Open Compute Project. And with all the different subgroups that we have right now, I think Open Compute Project is really heading to a direction that covers every, uh, every aspect of the data center infrastructure. I think it's always a million dollar question to try to predict the future, especially in data center that we were in today. So as I can see right now, AI and 5G is the most talk about uh, application that everyone wants to find the answer and solution for. However, the way I see it in the next generation, we'll see how AI and 5G really merge together, right? When you specifically talk about AI, everyone's talking about training because that's the first step of understanding how machine learning works. But once you have the full picture of the AI in machine learning, you start wanting to implement that into the inferencing level, right? How does a smart city, how does 5G network to adapting inferencing on site, uh, closer to the user? So AI and machine learning and 5G, it's gonna be one big topic for everyone to talk about, not a separate topic. So that's how I see the data center infrastructure and the future of the data center infrastructure will be merging into one.